guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So I've had a lot of questions coming in this week uh, regarding Final Cut Express and an uh, interesting question came up from Jane Michelle TV. Um, I've actually wondered this in the past but I figured it out a while back but I thought I'd create a solution video. So let me throw a link in here for Jane Michelle TV real quick so you guys can go check out some of her videos. Um, cool channel there. So alright, let me jump right into this. So Jane Michelle's question is how do you create video links at the end of the YouTube video? Um, you've probably seen some cool video um, YouTube videos, and at the end it'll have, you know, subscribe in the video, and you know, watch my next video or my previous video and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> for this example, I'm going to be using Final Cut Express. You can do this in pretty much any editing software. First thing you want to do um, is drop a video onto your track. Okay, select that video. You want to come in and resize the video. If I can get my cursor in the right spot here. There we go. So you want to come in and resize your video to the size that you want. Move it around, put it wherever you want it to be in the screen. And if you have another video that you want to link people to or take them to a, a secondary video, have them watch something else, you can drop another video in here on the top of that. Same thing, you want to come in and resize that video down to whatever size you want it. You can try to go for the same size as the other one there. You can match that up. So you can drop a couple of videos in here. Um, I actually want to drop some text in that says subscribe. So I'm going to choose my title 3D just within Final Cut Express. I normally do all my stuff through live type just so I can get the video animations and stuff like that. But I'm going to say subscribe and let's see here go ahead and choose apply and so here we have it I'm going to drag that into my timeline and I'm going to put that over the top of the other videos here and I'm going to want to resize the subscribe so I'll come back into my controls and zoom in on it here just a little bit to make it bigger well, okay, that works, I guess. So you're going to drag that around, and you can put that pretty much anywhere you want. Now, there won't be any links within the video. This is just an editing process here. But let's say that this is the end of my production video, whatever I've just shot. And I want to have links on, um, you know, if I want to put a link over this video or put a link to my subscribe and whatnot. So um, go ahead and export and finalize your product uh, project and then upload it to YouTube. Now let's jump over to YouTube here. Once the video is actually uploaded, um, I'll take one of my recent uploads here. You want to come down and click on annotations. Now once the video comes up, I'm just going to stop right here. Um, now I don't have this little segment right here actually uploaded. This is just an example on the editing side how to achieve that effect. So um, once your video is actually uploaded and you come into annotations, you want to choose Add Annotation, and I'm going to choose Spotlight, and I want to drag this box right here around this because that's what I'm looking to to create here is a, a little box around this. Okay, so I've got this box sized. You want to drag the text box up, and you can put this within this. This what this will do is highlight the video once you mouse over okay so there we have that and then if you click in the surrounding window you'll see that once you mouse over it's going to highlight that so like I said you don't really want to add any text or anything um, what you do want to do next though is you want to come down here to the right hand side and click on link and you can choose video playlist channel subscribe for this one I'm just going to choose subscribe and um, you can enter a user's name so I'm going to do Frank's tech help okay and then you can preview the link just to make sure verify you're doing the right channel and everything so once this is done you'll want to repeat this process um, let me jump over here um, in YouTube you'll want to create another link and drag it over your video and drag it over another video and stuff like that and uh, once it's done you'll want to save and publish this and there you have it you will officially have links 
over any active videos at the end or beginning or even during your video production, you know, your YouTube uh, videos and stuff like that. Or if you just want to have a link to for people to subscribe and stuff. So anyway, pretty simple process. Uh, mainly it's just a matter of doing some, some preemptive work in your video editing software and putting everything, doing your layout, how every, you know, you want it all designed and everything. And um, if you're leading people to your next video in your series or whatever, then you'll want to bring in a small clip from that video from your project and dump it in at the end, you know, so you can have like a little preview window of that. So, all right, there you have it. Um, hope that helps you guys out. Um, pretty, pretty simple process. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've never actually done any of these in my videos myself. So maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll start doing a few here and there. So, um, all right. So there you have it. Hope this helped you out. If it did, please post a comment. And as usual, thanks for watching. Frank's Tech Help.